Donnie back again. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the advancement through the years of the design of this machine. And uh, this is an older one here. It's the uh, manufacturing model. Let me get this straight here. I'm trying to hold the camera better with a monopod. Okay, now these older machines have three oil windows. And they're <clears throat> this one is right at the uh, main front spindle bearing. This is for the for the gearing, whatever there is inside here, not a whole lot. And this is for the rear spindle bearing. And <clears throat> in effect, the uh, the oil the bearings sit in oil. Now these machines originally go up to 2,500 RPMs, but they did make these older ones. Uh, um, uh, go up to 4,000, 3,500 and stuff like that. But what they found is uh, prolonged running. Uh, th these old machines get hotter. You can feel it. You know, even running at <clears throat> 2,500 RPMs for an extended period of time. And uh, so what they did, uh, we'll move over here as best I can. There we go. Okay, Th this is what they did on later machines, and you'll notice that there's just one oil window. And with this, this style, sometime in the 60s, I believe, maybe the early 70s, I, I'm not exactly sure is when they went with this. And notice there's no windows at the bearing locations. Now this hot headstock circulates the oil through the, through the bearings. It's got a path of uh, getting the oil to the top and it runs through the bearings and then out instead of the uh, like the older machine with the bearings sitting in the oil. Okay, now this machine runs considerably cooler and longer running full out at high speed. So I just thought I'd point this little thing out about these machines. Now it's not bad to have a machine, the older ones, you know, they're just fine. But they're not the racehorse. Okay, I'll get back here. Get back on more of this cool stuff.